Hello and welcome to a C++ tutorial on vectors. In this tutorial I'll just show you how you can use the C++ vector class to create ve basic vectors. So um, first let's do all of our includes. So we'll say include io string include string include vector and include windows.h and then we want to say our using namespace standard and then int main under here and then we could just uh, at the end here we'll put our return zero and actually before this we want to say system pause or some people will automatically pause for it but for me it doesn't so I have to put this that's why I include the windows.h um, but yeah so if it doesn't if it just terminates before you can even see what you're doing just put the system pause there or system pause um, so here I'm just going to be showing the very basics of how to use vectors in C++ so a vector is a lot like an array if you've um, ever used an array it's a lot like a C based array except you can do more with it one of the good things about vectors is they automatically terminate or they automatically delete after you are done using it so unlike arrays where you have to yourself delete it it's just um, vectors are easier to use for memory so how we declare a vector is we call vector then our data type and then we want to create a vector of string that's why I include string vector of string and then we'll just call this uvec, users vec, user vector. So this will just create our user vector. And the next thing we can do is I could create a function for this, but I'm just going to make it a lot easier and just put it all under int main because this isn't a big project. Um, the next thing we want to do is we would want to fill our array with something. And so how we fill arrays is first let's actually put this under a while loop. So we'll say while, um, or actually, excuse me, the first thing we have to do is we have to just string u input, and then we have to c in u input. So this will just get a user variable. And then we could say while u input is not e is not equal to x so and I misspelled input well u input is not equal to x what do we want to do well we want to take an input so how do we do that we can say uvec dot push back we can push back our vector push back is how you fill vectors with values so we want to push back with our u input and then for the sake of the loop we have to see in u input again so that way they can keep typing in stuff so this will just keep adding things to the vector until there are um, until they type in x so then what do we do once they're done typing in the vector or once they're done entering data into it so the next thing we want to do we can just use a for loop to uh, display our vector. So how we do that is we say for an unsigned int, I'll explain why in a second, i equal to zero. Um, i runs until uh, u, uvec dot size, I can type today, i plus plus now the reason that we have to say an unsigned int is um, if we just said int we wouldn't get an error here but during runtime we've run into some problems but uh, the reason we say unsigned int is because a u our, our vector size by default is kind of different from a regular integer because vectors are so uh, cautious 
Um, it's a good thing that vectors are this cautious, but they make sure that no matter what, there's actually a whole other class inside C++ called an, unassi an unsigned int, means that it cannot be negative no matter what. So if there's nothing in the vector, it can never return a negative value to avoid all errors. So if we tried to compare an integer against an unsigned int, it would just run into problems, like comparing an integer and just a string. It just it doesn't work. You'd run into uh, invalid, I don't know what the specific error would be. But um, you just have to say an unsigned int because we just need to make sure that it will never go negative because that's how much C++ cares. Um, so for our array, or our loop here, what we want to say is we can just, first let's just see out uh, our vector. Uh, so this will be our vector. So that way we know that what we're entering or what we're showing. So our vector, and then at the end here we could also just say end line. So in between here, what we, how we display our vector is we can just say uvec, or um, we can just say c out uvec. And much like arrays, you could just put wherever position you want to say here, or you could say uvec dot at i. This will get where it is, but I'll just say i. Either one works. Uvec i, and then just there. So if we run this, we just enter our data. So I'll say hello there how are you and then put x at the end of that and then boom it says hello there how are you so yeah that is the very basics of how to use vectors and just take in user input and display them as vectors um, it's very simple you can use vectors are very good to use instead of arrays if you're dealing with bigger scaled projects obviously if we were dealing with a bigger scale project I wouldn't include using namespace standard for obvious memory issues but um, on the issue if you're ever looking to save memory and you're using an array try th switching it to a vector because vectors are literally built to save memory so I hope you like this tutorial all the source code will be down in the description um, and so yeah see you next time